Hey, this is Anthony with Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the brand new Shoei GT Air helmet, available at Revzilla.com. So at a thousand feet, the Shoei GT Air helmet is brand new for 2013. The next iteration of what I'm really calling the best of what's available from Shoei. In the past, we've seen the staple helmet for a touring rider, for a three quarter position, for a sport bike rider at the track be the RF 1100. What we've done, here in the GT Air from Shoei is now you have the ability to take it multi-season, to have some of the more full-featured options that we've seen on the Neotech, we've seen on the Quest. We've seen them take leaps forward in the performance from a ventilation, aerodynamic, and really sun-blocking standpoint into a new chassis that, in my opinion, looks very, very aggressive. So, I would love to hear your gut reaction at first glance to the GT Air. Leave it in the comments on this video. Remember, subscribe to us at Revzilla TV. Stay up to the latest, stay up to date with the latest gear reviews we're constantly rolling out. Quick note on fitment and size. So I found myself to be a, a medium in other showies. I'm a medium in this one. No discrepancies here. From a shape standpoint, I find it to be a neutral or intermediate oval. So that's gonna fit most people. Slightly longer front to back, but it's not extreme and it's not round either. So you might have, you, you, most people would have an easy time. And I'll tell you, even around the temples, the way the cheap pads are done, they have cutouts for glasses. So that allows you to have a little bit more room to play if you have a little bit of a wider face as well. Remember, you can always swap out those cheek pads. We weighed this bad boy as well in. This is a size large, and we weighed it in at 3 pounds, 11 ounces. So it's coming in, in that mid-threes range, not terribly heavy. Again, DOT in its rating. It's not going to be Snell. But again, rock solid. And when I get into some of the features, you're going to realize they crammed a lot into the Shoei GT Air in a pretty lightweight chassis. So keep that in mind. And if you're scared about the fitment, don't fret if you're going to buy it online from us. We ship for free, exchange for free, no restock fee if you need to send it back to us. So don't worry about it. So let's rewind all the way back to the highest level with the GT Air. And let's start at what's brand new on this helmet and kind of build off that And when we go through some of the features. And remember, I'm, wear I'm, use I'm wearing, I'm looking at a light silver. There are also graphics involved as well. Let's start with what I think is the most key component here on the GT Air the internal sun visor. And it's the same internal sun visor that we saw on the Neotech. They've really come at it with a new spin on the internal sun visor in the industry. It's very, very smooth. It's called the QSV1 sun visor. Same as on the Neotech. It's cable operated on the left side and they put the operator up here it doesn't click, it doesn't stick, it's just nice and it works really well. Drops right down with that optically correct fog-free shield that's going to be smoke and integrated. But they've done it in a way that's easy to find with a glove and it's not going to get in the way of your Bluetooth communicator. There are a lot of helmets out there that have it down here along the jawline. By moving it up a little bit, you're now out of harm's way and this helmet's really well optimized to put an aftermarket communicator in. So keep that in mind. So you see that face shield come down. We saw it first on the Neotech. It works really well. Now we have it on the GT Air and you're also going to see it on the J Cruise going into 2013. And check that video out. That's their three-quarter helmet. Now, if we look at the way that sun visor's done, and again, we saw this, and it kind of adds to that aerodynamic feel and shape here on the GT Air. Look at the way this brow goes. That hump here, which actually leads to these cutaways, allows Shoei to have the visor, the EPS, and the outer shell all sandwiched together without giving up any of the safety features, any of the thickness. You have your AIM shell, which is fiberglass, carbon fiber, and organic resins. And you're not thinning it to have that visor, but you're also not thinning the EPS, which is the shock absorbing element inside the helmet that keeps your head safe in the event of a crash. So what they've done, you saw this band on the Neotech, you have it bulged slightly, and then I really like on the GT Air how they have this sweeping effect as it goes into the aerodynamics into the back of the shield. And again, you're getting that DOT rated shield, and it's using some of the higher end components with Shoei to construct this shield, or, or the shell. Remember, the shell is the energy management system. You introduce a shock, it's meant to send that shock all the way throughout the rest of the sphere, and keep it on the sphere, length of the impact, save your brain. Now, if we move back down to our visor system, you're also looking at the CNS1 system from Shoei. Love what they've done here. So it's their new wider and taller visor we saw on the Neotech. It's also pin lock ready out of the box, but the beauty of the, Geo, the GT Air is that they're including your pin lock lens. So now it's coming with it. It's not fog free coated because you don't need fog free coating. Putting the pin lock in, you're using the laws of physics to have a fog free mechanism that never wears off. You also have your chin vent that now instead of venting to the face, it actually vents to the shield so it even dramatically increases the performance of the pin lock lens. Keep that in mind. Nice strong detents 
And again, we've, we're seeing a new feature from Shoei for the first time. It's a double-walled gasket construction. You see it all the way around the iPort. We've seen single-walled. We saw it on the Neotech. Now in the J Cruise and the GT Air, we have a double wall, which again gives you a better seal, better seal when it sucks it in against Mother Nature. If you're hitting the range, an even better chance of keeping the rain out. Now I talked about those strong detents, but come in here really tightly and you're going to notice it on the side pod. They call it self-adjusting, I call it spring-loaded, and what happens as you ratchet up and down, when it gets to the bottom detent, it sucks it in and it's gonna create that even better seal. We've also seen Shoei change the way they've done their locking mechanism. The old locking mechanism at speed would create a little bit of a whistle. And you're gonna hear me talk about noise in a second here. But what they've done to add to the quiet of this helmet, change the mechanism, it's really in line with what we see on the Neotech, and there's even a city position which cracks it and again gives you even more air ventilation to keep the fogging down here on our new style shield. So again, not needing to buy a, a dark smoke or a light smoke here unless you really want it because you have the internal sun visor. So let's talk about aerodynamics. Aerodynamics have been improved. We went out, we rode in this helmet. No issues at speed, no issues in the crouch, no issues with head checking. We did notice that it was more quiet. They've also, and when I get to the guts, you'll, sh you'll see them when I pull them out, they've, they've changed the way the internal guts feel. It's not what I'm gonna call a race fit. A race fit's that really, really snug cut that's hard to get on and off. But it is all encompassing. It cuts down on the noise. The way they've configured it cuts down on the noise. The aerodynamic profile cuts down on the noise. You still have good downforce with the way the airflow is gonna come over the top. You have the integrated spoiler. And I think I really love how this band, of this ridge for the integrated sun visor allows for these cutaways that, for lack of a better term, just look really, really gnarly. It's a nice sweeping look. I saw this helmet a while ago. I found some leaked pictures on the internets about it, and I said, wow, that's going to be a shocker. And for those guys out there that want a more sporty helmet but love the fact that they could get some of the multi-season, longer-distance touring functionality baked in, it should be a home run. So let's move on to the venting structure, which has been changed. It's going to be updated in its look and its style. You can see here if I bring it along the top. The nice part, the first thing is they're calling it the shuttering. It's not two-position on-off anymore. Now it's three-position. So you have open, you have you have open, full, you have midway open, and you have closed. And if you look at it, it's a similar vent configuration that vents into the helmet into 10 millimeter vent holes, as we would see on the Neotech, but now it has a more aggressive shape here on the GT Air. And if you come in tight, you can see the three snaps. Easy to find with a glove on. We made sure of it, and it's the winter time here at Revzilla in Philadelphia. So again, we went out with a bulky glove. We wanted to see how it felt. Moving on to the back. Now you have a rear spoiler. It's, re it's a rear spoiler vent, and again, three settings open and closed. So we're seeing that shuttering effect here break down into the helmet and you're getting more usability. And if you see how it sweeps along the back, you can see the back profile as well moving through the lid. So if we think about the air coming into the helmet, you're going to get it in this big brow vent and it's going to get sucked back right out your venturi in the back. And the cool part about it, when we wrote in it, we kind of had the takeaway, wow, it feels like a mohawk of air. You have EPS channels inside the helmet. They're going to suck that air through, disperse it. You really feel the air along the top, right along if you were Mr. T, where Mr. T would feel the air as well. And if we move it along to the front, remember I said that chin vent, it's got a new restyle for 2013 on this helmet on the GT Air, vents to the shield. And one of the things you might not realize is your air comes in, it circulates, your air might come up from the chin vent, go along the shield and suck back into that mohawk, it's going to exit down here. There are actually two really small channels that come all the way down and they're going to give you some ventilation even down at the base of your neck, which is a really nice touch. So as we move into the guts of the GT Air, I'm going to take a quick spin back to quiet. You know, the aerodynamics of this helmet were something they spent a lot of time focusing on, especially since they were changing the front ridge. But what you're going to see when we drive in here, you're going to see really a full comfort liner surrounded by a multi-density EPS. And the multi-density, it's going to be reinforced on the occipital ridge in the back as well as along the forehead, areas that are a little bit more prone to impact. And you're going to see even the speaker pockets in the side. The way that this helmet's done is really to cut down on wind noise. So you cut down on wind noise by eliminating turbulence on the outside of the helmet, and you also cut down wind noise by creating a fully affected inner liner of the helmet that really gives you good coverage on the inside. Before I start removing everything, and remember, you know, we actually, I'm a liar. I'm going to remove it right now. You can see that we have our removable chin spoiler, but if we look here, the only helmet I think that we've seen from Shoei do an emergency cheek pad removal system are their dirt helmet and the Neo, or I'm sorry, and the X12 helmet. Now we have it on the GT Air, and you can see these red poles. I actually really dig that they're easy to find. You'd pull them away and down, 
and your cheek pad pops right out. So it's now an emergency quick release cheek pad system set up for EMTs. And remember, you can, re you can always change the size of your cheek pads, but it's done so that if you're unconscious and on the ground, they can get this helmet off without moving your neck. Again, really important, especially if they're gonna throw you on the board. Don't mean to paint such a mor morbid picture, but in this sport, we take the, ser the safety factor really seriously. Now, if we look at it, it's the premium showy liner, and that's a wicking liner that's antibacterial, that's gonna hold up a long time, and that's around your face. You can also see it's a little bit more durable as you get up here closer to the temple. This would be the right side that would hug my face. I did mention that this is cut away inside, and also the density is a little different. So the stems of your eyeglasses should fit in no problem, and you're not gonna have any issues. Even if you have a little bit more fuller cheekbones, you should be good to go. Remember, you can always swap out the cheek pads. Now I'm gonna pull out my other side, might as well use my emergency quick cheek pad removal system. Remember, double D-ring here in my construction that are coated with the same internal guts on my chin strap. And as I bust it into the helmet here, bust it in, I'm sounding so technical today, there's no vent on the back of this chin bar, remember that. One of the cool things you're gonna see is a positively locking snap-in cover for the ear cutout. And these cutouts are what are going to, ha they're what are going to house the speakers if you use an aftermarket system. So if you look here on the internal piece of the helmet, you're gonna see that speaker cutout. And when you're not using it, you put this foam-backed piece in it. And again, it's gonna be another additional element that's gonna cut down on wind noise of the helmet. I'm gonna pull them both out so you can see them really quickly here. And if we move into our comfort liner now, I've got my neck roll out, comfort liner starts to come out. This is a new technology from Shoei. First time we're seeing it, I'm a fan of it. It's even nicer than the Neotech. This is the 3D Max Dry Liner. So what you see is it's still 3D in its construction, using mesh, using cutaways. Again, you have these air slots so that you're getting the mohawk of air that runs through when it comes into the sh shell itself. But one of the nice things that you do have is you have a new style, it's almost a beefier mesh. It has some nice density to it, it adds to the comfort factor. You see it along, again, along the top, along that mohawk area. It's a 3D bubble design. We see that in a lot of jackets. The boys in Italy pioneered this long, long ago. It promotes airflow, it promotes wicking of sweat, it promotes evaporative cooling, and you get a better sense of the cooling and the sweat coming off of your head through these top pieces. Now on the side, they said that's a, it's a little bit rougher than this, but against, against your hair or against the top of your head, you're not gonna really feel it. On the sides, you have your more plush material. And you notice the way that I pulled it out. I love that it's not snaps up here. I love that it's along the brow and it's plastic because it allows you to not have any pressure points in the helmet that aren't part of the comfort liner as well. And you can always swatch, switch the comfort liners. You know, as you go up the size curve with the Shoei GT Air, you're actually seeing four EPS sizes. So again, they're tuning this helmet for the best possible fit with your head. I'm gonna bust it out here Man, that seems to be my new term today. And you're gonna see the channels as we walk through the helmet. 10 millimeter vent holes, we have channels that go all the way back down the helmet, and you're gonna see that venting all the way down towards the bottom. So remember, you're looking for sport, sport, touring, multi-season, a do-it-all helmet that's a little more aggressive looking than something like a Quest, which would be straight out of touring helmet, or something like a Neotech, which is flip up, not everybody else's cup of tea. If you wanna make less of an investment than the GT Air, the RF 1100 is your tried and true staple. But again, no internal sun visor set up a little bit differently. In the box, there's also a breast car, breath guard. The chin curtain's gonna come installed, and you're also, it doesn't come in the box installed with the pin lock lens, but you throw it on and bang, you're anti-fog, you're good to go. <coughs> especially for the winter months. So keep that in mind, and remember, shoot us a line if you have any questions. See us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. I told you how easy it is. We ship for free, exchange for free, no restocks if you need to send it back to us to find it. The GTR is at RevZilla.com slash showy. Remember, we're like one of the top showy dealers probably in the world at this point, definitely in the top three in North America. So we know our stuff, give us a shout find what you're looking for on our site, and thanks for tuning into our video, which we'd always love to see your feedback on. I'm Anthony, we'll see you next time.